I am absolutely a nobody to tell you that you are making a mistake. No, that's not my intention. But I am here to highlight where most medical students make a mistake and they miss out on high paying careers. Now, MBBS of today is like BSCs of 1990s. It used to be valuable, but now without a specialization, it is nothing. But at the same time, what's happening is there's so much crowd in specialization that it's another struggle, another level of struggle. But at the same time, we are missing out that a lot of money can be made for MBBS doctors as well as MDMS also, if you get into the industry. Please don't shy away from industry. Please don't shy away from research. These are the two places where you can make a huge impact as a doctor and of course earn a lot of money. So let's look at what can you do in the industry. Well, it begins from simple research writing, goes to data interpretation, analysis, evidence-based decision-making engine, medical coding, pharmacovigilance, you are needed in clinical data management, AI in diagnostics, bioinformatics, CRO workflows, you are needed everywhere. So it's not necessary to do a specialization after your MBBS, you can get into this side also. However, if you've done a specialization, most welcome. But then there are other paths also which you can take like research, research and development. A doctor who is a coder and is a researcher, well, that's a billion dollar guy, okay? You can publish papers, you can present posters, you can do some serious projects with CSIR labs, Department of Biotechnology, Department of Science and Technology. You can get 50 crores plus fundings. You can get funding from BIRAC. You can do PhD abroad, you can get high paying fellowships, you can get into international grant bodies like Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. There's so much more you could do. It's not no longer that you treat a patient one on one. The era has come where you don't just work in a hospital or you own a hospital, you can own a chain of hospitals. The era has come that you create a solution which hundreds of doctors, thousands of doctors utilize. So that's what I said. A doctor who is a coder is, is also a researcher. That's a deadly combination. Start looking in that direction and you will not make that mistake. And at the same time, most doctors go for the old age jobs. What are the old age jobs? We look at, okay, we can um, go do a specialization and go and do a, um, uh, you know, work in a hospital. So that's self-employed. Self-employment can take you here, but if you want to get here, well, that's where you can get into the industry. All the best.